Graph theory, um, finding an optimal solution using the brute force method. So if there wasn't one drawn already, we're going to need to draw a complete weighted graph for the problem. And uh, for the brute force method, we have to list all possible Hamilton circuits. And yes, this number could be very large. That's why you would want to do the, have a computer do the work for you if it was any more than in our case. Uh, four vertices this is as big as we're going to get. Find the sum of the weights of the edges for each circuit. The one with the minimum total weight is the optimum solution. So with example 13, let's read what it says here. A student who lives in Peoria wants to visit colleges in Chicago, Champaign, and St. Louis during spring break. Table shows the distance between the cities and miles. So we've got Chicago, Champaign, St. Louis, and Peoria. So let's go ahead and draw four vertices. And let's label those. Okay. So I've got uh, Peoria. I'll just label that with a P. And then we have Chicago. I'll do a CHI. Champagne, I'll do a CHA for that. And then St. Louis. Okay, so we have a route from Peoria to Chicago. That has a weight of 167. Peoria to Champagne has a weight of 89. And Peoria to St. Louis has a weight of 169. Pretend I connected that. There we go. Okay, uh, Chicago to Champaign has a weight of 136. Chicago to St. Louis has a weight of 297. And then lastly, the, uh, the weight of Champaign to St. Louis is 181. All right, so we just drew a weighted graph. As you see, that's not that hard. So we're going to use a brute force method to find the circuit that will minimize the number of miles traveled. Now, um, let's look at all the Hamilton circuits that are possible. I have four vertexes, v vertices, I guess we call them. So four minus one factorial is three factorial, which gives us possibility of six circuits. Now, um, we will have two of these circuits with the same weight because you could go in one direction and then go the opposite direction and they'll have the same weight. So let's get started. So if I go from Peoria to Chicago to Champaign to St. Louis to Peoria, well, that's going to be 167 plus 136, plus 181, plus 169, and that'll be 623 miles. Um, okay, I think you can figure out that if I went in the opposite direction, that's also gonna be 623 miles. Okay, look at another possibility. Instead of going Peoria, Chicago, Champaign, maybe we could go Peoria, Champaign, and then Chicago, St. Louis, and then back to Peoria. Okay, well, that will be um, 89 plus 136 plus 297 plus 169. And that will be 691 miles. There we go. Okay. So if I go the opposite direction, Peoria, St. Louis, Chicago, Champaign, Peoria, that will also be the 691 miles. Okay. Well, what if I do Peoria... Champagne and then St. Louis, Chicago, P 
be Oreo. What would that be? Well, that's going to be 89 plus 181 plus 297 plus 167. And that's going to be 734 miles. Okay, that's going to be the same as going to the cities in opposite order. Okay, so I think you see what circuit would be the optimum solution. Okay, it would either be this one or this one. Okay, so 623 miles is our optimum solution.